Alright, back again. Uh, I might make this, break this up into two parts. We'll see how long it goes, but, uh, oh yeah, like I said, I just, on the room tour, I just got this. This is a Lotus album. Came out in, I think, 70 or 71. A little group from Alabama. And they only came out with one album, and boom, we're gone. So, uh, I know if you look, try to get the original, it's probably about $300 or more. So, uh, this came out in reissue. Grabbed it. It's an awesome album. If you can find it, pick it up. In fact, I think I'll grab me a second copy. I always loved this album. I had it on a CD, so I uh, picked it up on the final little Molly Hatchet Live. I mean, they play some Allman Brothers, some Skinner on here, so yeah. <laughs> you can't beat it. Great album. Went to the Doobie Brothers a couple weeks ago, so uh, picked up some of the some Doobie Brothers that I didn't have. And man, they sounded awesome. They sounded just like they did back in the 70s. So, grab some Doobies. There's a new reissue site that I picked up. Soft uh, Machine, Volume 2. I gotta get Volume 1. <laughs> but, uh, More good psych out to get. There's another one. Lacewig. Another one that just came out with one album and I'm gone. It's a nice one. Uh, a little Black Rebel Motorcycle Club. Uh, this is live in London. Still trying to get their first couple albums, which are very hard to get. So uh, this one just came out. I think this is their last release. They came out with two live albums. In fact, the next one I got is this live. But uh, I love these. These guys are incredible. Picked them up. And here, this is, uh, as a matter of fact, this is the album Doobie Brothers are touring on right now. Uh, they played quite a few songs from this. They're uh, incredible. No Michael McDonald, but you know, if you like the early Doobies without Michael McDonald, that's what you're going to hear. And this is a new album. Get out. Bohemian Vendetta. It's another old 60s uh, site reissue. And once again, I'm playing Phil. <laughs> Hear the music. Uh, it took me a while. I finally got this. This is tough to get. Duran Duran uh, Astronaut. I think their new album that they got out, they're only gonna make like 250 or 500 of them, and I think it's like 200 and something dollars, almost 300 dollars for the album. So I'll try to get uh, if it comes out normally. <laughs> I ain't gonna pay no 200 and something bucks for it. And I just picked up this little Black Angels, picked up from Record Store Day. Get a little 10 inch. Oh, this is cool. Um, Friar Tuck and his psychedelic guitar. This is uh, on Fallout. Got this. I just love the, you know, fuzzy guitar, psychedelic stuff. Especially like this felt. I mean, that's pretty much that. Hammond organ. Awesome. There's another group, uh, The Litter. I've been uh, picking up all of their uh, their uh, vinyl. 
this is, I think, their first album. Distortion. So, got that. I mean, this is, this is a tough, tough one to find. Nazareth's uh, first album. The reason why I think I like the one of the best is it has uh, Morning Dew on it, which uh, you've seen some of the videos. I play as uh, uh, Damnation play it, and then Nazareth put it on their first album, and this sounds awesome. But this one, I definitely need to find a better copy. This is probably a good copy at best, so I'm going to try to find new copy, a better copy of this. Hopefully, hopefully I'll reissue it. Because this is a good album. Uh, Black Mountain. I think that's her first album. And uh, they just came out, I think, last year with another album. And it has a shark on it. I'm going to pick it up too. But uh, these guys are good. Uh, the Black Crows took me a while to find this. You know, forever I was going to get it and I never picked it up. And I finally go to get it and then everybody sold out. So, got it before the frost. Another good album. This one though is only, I think it's just uh, regular black vinyl. It's not that green and white vinyl. Uh, some more psych stuff. This uh, wool. Wild These next ones are kind of tough to find. Uh, I forgot, uh, I forgot who was it? it? Has the top 40 U.S. psychedelic albums, and some of these are on that list. And uh, this is a uh, Banshee, thinking, and I just love this album. Felt is also on the, that list. So what I've been trying to do is, uh, and I'll show you the ones I got. I'm trying to pick up all the these, but they're they're so hard to find. Hopefully they'll. I've sent out some lists for people. To, maybe hopefully they'll reissue these things so and get them a lot cheaper than what the prices are I've seen. Also, there's another one, the Third Power, believing. Another great album. But, I mean, and all these, most of these groups are just one, you know, one album, and then they were done. So uh, it's really tough to, to find these albums since they probably didn't print that many. Of them. They weren't selling. They weren't printing probably. So uh, this was actually on the list in this uh, reissue. J.D. Blackfoot, The Ultimate Prophecy. There's another one that's on that list. Head over heels. And this is another reissue. I tried to find it on eBay and can't hardly find it. So uh, I saw that the uh, place where I get my albums, they had it. So I grabbed it. There's the uh, Magic Lantern. Another. I think this this one's a limited edition. This one's not one's tough to find. I think the original, you, they only came out with 100 or 200 copies, so it's about impossible to find the original of this. There's another one, tough one. It's Morgan. Another original is tough to find. And another, the litter, Emerge. I think this is their third album. Second or third. I think it's their third. But that's another one that's great. Albums at uh, Psych Albums. 
it's quite hard to find too, so hopefully they'll reprint it. This is uh, Love. And let's see. Yeah. That's uh, Out There is the name of the album. Another great album. Another one is kind of hard to find. You don't see it much. This one, uh, I think they came out a couple albums. This is a group called Christopher. And uh, what you're going to do is name of this album. I'm still trying to find their a self titled album, Christopher's self titled album. But uh, this is a nice reissue. So I'll stop right here and break it up and then I'll knock out the rest of these here in a little bit. Alright, thanks. Keep watching.